just when we British have had our fill of guides on how to be thin and stylish like the French, or how to parrot like the Danes, the Italians are trying to muscle in by selling us their enviable way of life. In a new TV series, Jack Whitehall and Ma Yajama are among the celebrities invited to sample La Dolce Vita for our delectation. But the Italians may have got more than they asked for, Whitehall insists to them that Alphabetti spaghetti needs to be taken seriously while Jama admits to picking her nose. Rugby player Lawrence Dalio, meanwhile, gets incredibly competitive as he goes head-to-head -head with Italian rugby star Martin Castro Giovanni. We could say these Italians deserve it for attempting to shove their delicious food, their wonderful music and their sporting prowess down our gullets. The trio star in the entertaining new Amazon Prime travelogue, Live Italian. The first episode starts with Jack, who certainly seems keen to adopt Italian ways. He is tasked with learning to cook like an Italian and studies how to make the best meat, pasta and panino. Yes, panino, as most Britons make the mistake of using the word panini in the plural. During Jack's adventures, he milks a cow, meets a butcher who likes to kiss his giant steaks, and flirts with an elderly pasta maker who explains the raw stuff needs to be hit like you are smacking a backside. Everyone was appalled at the mention of alphabet spaghetti, admits the 34-year-old comedian and bad education creator who is currently dating model Roxy Horner. He is accompanied around Tuscany by fellow TV presenter Chiara Macy whose job is to teach him how to be Italian. It's fair to say she doesn't understand any of his jokes but he does keep on trying. I am persistent, he chuckles. They also manage to cook up a feast which looks delicious. I got a lot out of it because there were many things I planned to do in lockdown that I never got around to doing, says Jack. Like make my own bread and pasta from scratch. These were things I could have done when everyone else was doing them, especially as I consider myself a keen amateur chef, but I didn't and felt really guilty about it. So now I can say that I did and I never have to do them again. Another plus was getting to travel for work without his agent father Michael Whitehall in tow. The quarreling pair have had huge success in Netflix show Jack Whitehall, travels with my father but, as the star admits, it was easier being without his dad. To be clear, he is the one who cut me loose, says Jack, acting out mock fury. He's been off doing his own things. And he was the one who said, I can't be bothered to do any more travels with my father. I'm going to do my own podcast because I can shoot it in my living room. Jack says going fatherless also allows him more time. The good thing about filming something when you are not traveling with a cantankerous octogenarian is you have a whole day to do things, he adds. When I am with my father, he just stops at 4 p.m. and says, I can't be bothered anymore. Jack won his first television role aged just nine in TV series Noah's Ark and has enjoyed a stellar rise to fame as a comedian and actor. But he says people accusing him of being a Nepo babe, someone who owes their success to an nepotistic parent in the same field, have got it all wrong. I firmly believe I have a Nepo dad, he insists. I've opened more doors for him than he has for me. He definitely did open some doors for me but also plenty were shut in my face because he was so obnoxious when he was an agent.
as well as learning to cook delicious food in the show, Jack also had to eat it, which proved slightly problematic as he was meant to be slimming down for a new role in the American comedy series The After Party. The script requires a lot of nudity, he says of the new project. In all the character descriptions it says, he takes off his shirt to reveal a rippling six-pack. That is not something that I normally bring into a character unless there is a lot of CGI. For a short while, he did attempt to hone his figure, though. I would get the trainer and adjust my diet, he says. And I was doing okay. Then he was offered his new Italian job. I thought it would be fine, that I would have the self-restraint to go to Tuscany and not eat carbs, he adds. But then, hey, it was just pasta every day. And you just have to be so strict if you want the Marvel body, you have to have so much self-control, which is impossible when you are surrounded by the best food and wine there is. When he arrived on the set of the after party, he told producers how his best intentions of turning muscly had fallen by the wayside. The six-pack was more of a one-pack. I explained they might need to look for different ways of creating a six-pack. And that's when they said they could get a body double for the neck down. So that's what I have. When the show comes out in the summer there is a lot of nudity and it is not me. Being body beautiful is not something Ma Yajama, 28, has to worry about. The up-and-coming TV presenter and DJ, who can currently be seen hosting Love Island and has been recently linked to Hollywood actor Leonardo DiCaprio, shows off all her curves in a selection of skin-tight outfits on the show. Fortunately for her, she is not eating but learning about Italian music. During her 45-minute episode, she helps to carve a violin, takes singing lessons from an opera singer, and even goes into the studio with two Italian singers. She admits the slower-paced Italian way of life is appealing, describing continuous 5 a.m. starts as a normal part of her routine. It is hard to get the work-life balance right, she says. I have always struggled with that, with friends and family. It is super difficult to fit everything in. Jack says he'd love for there to be a second series where all three of them traveled together. I know Maya and Lawrence, and they are both fantastic people with great personalities, he says. The only bummer was we didn't get to spend any time together. But I'm sure we would all be up for a reunion. Sadly, it seems little local culture rubbed off during their week of living like Italians. Maya says that despite her opera singing lesson, she will not be performing publicly anytime soon. You can give me all the lessons in the world and I'll still sound like someone's uncle after a couple of drinks, she laughs. Jack may have booked a summer holiday in Italy after falling in love with the country all over again, but he says, on returning to Britain, I fell straight back into my old habits of living my life at 100 miles an hour and cramming my diary with too much stuff. La Dolce Vita, it seems, remains sadly beyond their grasp. Live Italian is on Prime Video now.
from 